for connection of this timer we can use ac power supply and dc power supply first of all we will talk about 230 volt ac power supply connection so how we can do this see whatever is the phase supply from phase supply connect one wire and with a1 terminal of timer connect this wire after this bring neutral power supply and connect with a2 terminal now we will consider that we will use this timer to turn on and off a lamp to this lamp we will connect neutral power supply directly from here now phase supply to this lamp will go through this timer now in this timer you will get three terminals among these this two number terminal here is common terminal one number terminal is nc and three number terminal is no contact so what we have to do to this common terminal we have to connect phase supply if you want from anywhere you can connect phase supply or you can use this phase supply also what i will do from here only i am connecting a wire and with two number terminal i am connecting this wire now how we have to turn on this lamp according to that nc contact or no contact we will use for explanation, I am connecting a wire from NO contact and to this lamp connect phase supply. For all the timers which are used in India, connection is same for all. But this timer we have right now, to this timer you need to give trigger command. That is, to operate this you have to generate a pulse command, after that only this timer will operate. So for this we can use push button, we can use sensor or you can use any equipment through which you want to operate this timer. I am using a push button here. Here we have to use NO contact only. So what we have to do from the phase supply connect one wire and to this push button provide input power supply. Now from output terminal of push button connect one wire and with TR terminal here connect this wire in this way. You have to generate pulse command of phase supply. So in this way we can operate this timer through 230 volt AC power supply. Now if you have DC power supply then you have to do some changes. Take this positive power supply and connect with A3 terminal and connect negative power supply with A2 terminal. If you use AC power supply of 230 volt then you have to give phase supply at A1 terminal. And if you use DC power supply of 24 volt then in this condition you have to connect power supply at A3 terminal. Rest all the connections will be same. Ok then, now how to do programming of this timer let's understand this also. So first of all we will learn to set on delay time. To set on delay time what you have to do this knob here you have to select knob positions at this side that is where on delay is written on this side you have to select a time range. In this timer if you want to set the time in seconds then what you have to do turn this knob this side to seconds position. Here 99 seconds is written I selected this position through knob. Now I am turning on the power supply. After turning on power supply time which is displaying here is in seconds because we selected x knob at seconds position. Now this 7 seconds which is set here if I want to change this then for this I will use this knob. That is I will rotate this when I rotate this get total time range of 99 seconds. Here we are getting time range of 99 seconds. Whatever time range you want to select by rotating this you can select time in seconds. For example I am setting 10 seconds to show you. So here I selected 10 seconds. Now if I try to operate this timer then you can see time is reducing. When 10 seconds is completed relay will operate. Ok here you can see how relay operated. You can see the light also because lamp started glowing. Now if you want to set the time in minute then first you have to turn off the power supply. After turning off power supply this x knob here by rotating this select the minute range. If you want to set the time less than 9 minutes then 9.9 .9 minute which is written here select this time range. If you want to select time range till 99 minutes then you can select 99. You can see here is written 02. It means that in this timer 2 minute time is set. If you want to set time of 10 minutes then rotate this and select 10 minutes in this way. Now if you want to use this timer as off delay timer then for this you have to turn off power supply again. Now what you have to do this x knob here by rotating this time range which is given on off delay side select among these. Now whatever time range you want suppose you want time range of 99 seconds then select the time range of 99 seconds. Ok now we will turn on the power supply. If you want to change this time then simply rotate this knob and select the time. Ok now we will understand what is on delay timer and off delay timer. 
first of all we will talk about on delay timer see if you have on delay timer then what will happen in this condition when you give power supply to this timer i turned on the power supply here after this i will trigger this when i trigger this then what will happen in this condition is contact here will not change instantly that is time we set here after completing this time only contact of this timer will change here contact of our timer changed and our lamp turned on so as you saw time we set here of 16 seconds after 16 seconds contact of this timer changed this is the work of on delay timer so here we have to understand if we use on delay timer then contact of timer here will not change instantly whatever time we set after completing that time only contact of timer will change now if you have off delay timer i am converting this to off delay timer here i converted timer to off delay timer now i am turning on the power supply after turning on power supply you can see contact of timer changed you can see this indication also from this we can say when timer gets the power supply contact of timer will change in off delay timer that is lamp will turn on now when i give command to turn off this lamp then lamp will not turn off instantly you can see here a countdown is started whatever time we set after completing this time only lamp will turn off okay now let us come to our main topic that is where to use on delay timer and where to use off delay timer see you have to use on delay timer where you want to change the contact after some time that is when you press push button then your contact should not change instantly lamp must remain off but when time is completed lamp must turn on okay now we will understand where to use off delay timer for example this lamp here i want to operate this lamp in a way that if i turn on the power supply then lamp will turn on quickly but when i cut the power supply here to cut supply i am giving trigger command when power supply is turned off lamp will not get off instantly it will wait how much it will wait depends on time we set here after completing this time only lamp will turn off that's it friends so friends i hope there is no confusion regarding where to use on delay timer and where to use off delay timer friends if you like this video then do like share and comment on this video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video